Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to learn a few different ways to create quotes to send to our clients for projects we're managing in Zero Projects. This video is part of a full series on Zero Projects. So if you want to learn more, check out the link to the playlist in the description below. So first of all, we'll have a look at how to create and assign quotes to a project. And then we'll have a look at how to create quotes from tasks and expenses within the project. And finally, we'll take a look at how to create a quote from the project amount, which is otherwise known as the estimate. So first up, we're going to create a quote and then assign it to a project. So the first thing you need to do is actually create the project. So if we just go to all projects, let's just start a brand new project. So we'll just go new project and draft. And we'll just use that first contact there, 132 Collins. And we'll just call this new website. Okay, and we'll just pick a deadline. So we'll just make it say 1st of March. And then we'll leave all this blank here for the estimate because we don't need that for this exercise. So we'll just click on create. Okay, so now we've got this draft project. And you can see in the quotes and invoices tab, we don't actually have any quotes yet. Okay, so what you need to do is just go to business and quotes and then just click on new quote. Choose the customer. So that will be 132 Collins. And then we'll just put an expiry date in. We'll just give them say two days there. And then we just need to fill out the description. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and just filled in a couple of details quickly. It's just for a new website. We're just charging them $1,000. It's going to go to sales in our general ledger. And there's a bit of GST on the top as well. So what you can do now is you can save it as a draft or you can send it to the client, but you can also come up the top here and assign it to a project. So we'll click on that. And then if we go here, we should be able to choose the project. So we'll just type in N and there it is the new website and assign. Okay, so now that we've assigned it, you can go ahead and email it to the client, which is what you would normally do. But just for this exercise, we're not going to bother. We'll just click save as draft. Okay, and then we'll just go back to projects and our draft project and that one there. Okay, quotes and invoices. Okay, so now we've got that quote there. So that's a way that you can create a quote um, externally in the usual um, invoices and quotes and sales area. And from here, you can just go into the quote and then you can send it to the client. So if you click on open, it will just take you back to the quote and then you can go ahead and send it. Okay, next up, we're going to create a quote from some tasks and expenses that we've got in our project. So what we'll do is from the main in progress screen here, we'll just choose this one that's already in the demo company for the East Side Club. Okay, and in here, we've already got four tasks set up. So what we'll do is we'll just quickly add some expenses in there. So we've got everything in there that we need. So we'll just go add estimated expense and we'll just call it travel like so. Just put $100 in and just put a markup of say 50% and click on save. So that's $150 there for the estimated amount. And we'll just add in another one. So estimated expense, and we'll call this one parking. And then we'll just put the price in of say $20. And let's just pass this cost on as is. So that'll just be $20 to the client and click on save. Okay, so now we've got a couple of expenses in there as well as our estimated tasks. So if we just go to quote and then tasks and estimated expenses. Okay, now you can see here it's pulled through all of those three tasks and it's pulled through the estimated expenses. So if you want to, if you don't have to put them all in the quote, if there's some reason why you just want to create say the design like that, you could just do a quote for $1,500 and just send that to the client. And you could do any combination of what's already in there. But just for this exercise, we'll just put everything in there and then we'll have a look at these options. So you can combine the tasks or you can combine the estimated expenses into one line each on your quote. 
or you can do a combination of them. So it just depends what you want the client to see. Or you can just have all the individual items showing um, if you want to. So I might just leave it as individual items. And then for the quote title, we just, we'll just use the, the project name. And you can see there it's got a little summary down the bottom, three tasks, two expenses, and then the total there, XGST. So let's just click on save and open. Okay, and that's just gone ahead and created a quote in the usual sales area. So that's just in here in the menu. And from there, you can see we've got everything down on their individual lines, which is what we selected. So all you need to do to finish it off is just choose an expiry date. And then you should also choose some accounts here. So I'm just going to put sales in for each one of these. Okay, so I've just put in the sales general ledger code, which has got GST on income in there. So it's added a bit of GST onto the bottom here. Obviously, if you use different general ledger codes um, for your various lines in your quote, you'll need to make sure you put the right ones in for you. Okay, and when you're done, um, you can send it to the client, uh, but, but we're not going to do that in this exercise. We'll just save it as a draft again. Okay, so that's in our draft quotes now. So we'll just go back to the project and the East Side Club, quotes and invoices. And that's in there as a draft ready to send to the client for them to either accept it or reject it. All right, in this final lesson on quotes for projects, I'm just going to show you a third way that you can create a quote. If you go to your main project screen here in progress, what we'll do is we'll just use one of these existing projects in the demo company, there's no need to create a new one because I just want to show you how you can create a quote from this estimated amount. So if we go into the Luna Cafe new patio, you can see here that we've got this estimate here and that would have been put in when they first opened up the project. So you can actually create a quote off of that. If you go up to quote and you go to project amount, you can see that it's pulled through that estimate. So you can either use that exact amount or you can create another custom amount, so another estimate. And then as usual, you can use the project name as the title of the quote if you like. So let's just use that estimate and I'll use the project name and we'll open the draft quote. Okay, and that's just brought us to the usual uh, quote section. So once again, you can get to it through here and there's the new patio down there there's the two thousand dollars so we just need to put in an expiry date and a general ledger code like so and now we have a completed quote and as usual we can send it to the client or we can save it as a draft which is what i'll do okay so there it is as a draft quote so we'll go back to projects we'll go into our luna cafe job and quotes and invoices and there it is, there's the draft quote. So once again, you can send that to the client for them to accept or reject.